Wow, it feels good to be back. This request is from Jack Crispy and Jaden Abraham, and they're wanting to know how to make something happen when you finish off a specific squad of AI, such as, I don't know, ending the game? And that's super easy. This quick tutorial will show you how to set this up to trigger any script you want based on a squad being finished off. Let's go. All right, so to start this, I've already basically done the map setup because um, I'm assuming that you do already have your AI spawner set up the way you want and everything. Um, and I do have tutorials on all that good stuff if you need to watch them. But uh, the basically, you just need your AI spawner that you want for the squad to end the game or, or do what you want with the event. And your other AI spawners for just not related to it for your map. So uh, I did set this one up. This is going to have two grunts. The squad label is going to be Alpha on this one. The squad label is going to be Bravo on this one. And this one's going to be Charlie. Oh, wow. That was a lot of lag. Uh, the only reason I set these two up as different squads is just to show you that the different squads uh, won't affect it and only the squad that you have selected will be the one that is affected. So we can kind of just jump right into the scripting and it's really not a lot. It's, it's actually pretty tame. Okay, so you kind of, if you follow my tutorials much, you know exactly where we're going to go with this. We're going to set up our holy trinity of our get, set, and declare variables. And this was going to be for a squad. So I'm going to set these up real quick. Okay, so the identifier is going to be it's always best if you're doing the uh, set squad variable to just name the identifier as the squad you're using I uh, it's just I feel like it makes things just organized and uh, streamlined where you know exactly where everything is and you know you know what's what without ever having to guess yourself by accident uh, we just go ahead and connect these here connect squad to the value Oh, make sure your scope is local on all of them. Uh, and then on this, you're going to want to set this to the same squad that you want to do the thing, which is Charlie squad in this case. Then we're going to move this down here because that's where we're going to be using it in the actual script to end this. So you want something to happen when the AI is, when a squad is eliminated. Okay, so we're going to use this as usual, but now we're going to use death context. I rarely use this one. Uh, I use this in... Uh, one of my tutorials about uh, getting points based off of what type of uh, AI it was. But this time we're going to use was last AI unit in squad in the death context category. We're going to plug death context up here to death context. Pretty self-explanatory. And now we're going to get our compare. We're going to need a compare node from logic compare. And it's going to be compare squads. The reason why we're doing it like this is because we're going to make sure that um, only Charlie squad is the one we're worried about when it comes to the last unit in that squad. So we plug in squad here from the Aeon AI unit killed so it finds out, hey, this AI unit just died, what squad were they on? And it checks it. And it's going to check it against Charlie and say, okay, is it Charlie? And if it is, something happens. But we don't want it just to be Anytime an AI unit dies in Charlie, we want it to be the very last AI that dies in Charlie. Which is what this is for. And to combine these two, we need to go into logic and grab the first node called Boolean logic. This allows us to do uh, combine them both into making sure both of these are true. Or we could do one or the other, but we're not going to do that this time. So we're going to use the and, so that way both of these have to be true in order for the game to end. And the condition is that so we're going to need a branch from the same category and that will be the condition the and so now all we need to do is plug this in here all the way back to make sure that this runs move this down here there we go and the last but not least we go over here to game mode and we select end round you can kind of manipulate it the way you want with these different ones but it's we're just going to do this uh you don't have to use end round uh, or anything, you could just have, this is all you need. This is the only part of the script that you need as the forerunner to any script you want to run based off of the last AI in that squad dying. You can, you can attach any script from here from the if true and it will run once this AI is the last unit and it dies. 
So you don't have to, it's, it's universal. It's not just based off of this right here or this tutorial exactly. You can kind of throw any script you want uh, based off that and, and you're good. We're going to go ahead and have it set to end game uh, because that's the, that's the comment. Um, but that's a, it's a good example anyway. And there we go. This is all you need. Of course, you're going to want, if you ha don't have a way to spawn your AIs the way you want, I have tutorials over that as well. But so far, I have it set to where these will die and instantly respawn once all of them are dead. And then same here, these will die. And then this one, this is only one grunt though. And he will, he will die. I'm going to, I did have this originally as just one Elite Ultra. My buddy. And this time though, we're going to just add a grunt in there. So that way you can see that once we, you know, once he's dead, um... It, then the, we'll have to kill both of them, all of the ones in Charlie's squad, so it isn't just any time NAI dies in Charlie. We can technically test it out in Forge mode. It'll just pop up at the kill feed that the game is ended and to reset the node graph by exiting play mode, but I want you to see the actual game ending. So let's head over to Custom Games and give this a try. Okay, we're starting right up, and uh, it's just us and the grunt, or grunts. Plus the elite. We can pop these guys and nothing's going to happen. They'll just respawn and we can just keep popping them. Yeah. Okay. But these guys. You're lucky my deaths aren't permanent. Uh, you'll be okay. Yeah. Game over. There you go. That's how you set it up. Easy, easy peasy. Simple as that. Like I said, you don't have to end the game. You can trigger any script you want in your map when this happens, as long as you hook it up to the branch true output. This can unlock doors based on a boss you have set up, and so many other things. Well, time to head outside and see who this old friend is. Okay, so I have a question. Are any of you an old friend? Hmm. 